We're going to stay on space. NASA says he wants to go back to the moon, but this time they want the astronauts to stay. Harrison Schmidt is with us, former NASA astronaut and the second to last person to set foot on the moor, on the moon. Harrison, welcome to the program, sir. It's great to see you. Well, it's good to see you again. <laughs> Indeed. You're looking well. Uh, amazing, <laughs> isn't it, actually? <laughs> Do we want to, I mean, if the astronauts are going to get there and stay there, are we trying to colonize the moon? Well, I th you know, it certainly could be done. And not so much, I, I like to think of it as settling the moon. Uh, there are resources there that can support settlements uh, and, and very large settlements. So just about everything you need. You can make water. Uh, you can uh, make oxygen. Uh, you can have power of various kinds, including fusion power. There's a fusion fuel on the moon called helium-3. Uh, yes, settlements are certainly feasible on the moon, and I suspect that's going to happen. I think it's going to be more, though, uh, an effort by the private sector, uh, and probably and should be. Hmm. Uh, NASA needs to get the infrastructure put together, but uh, the private sector can be there as well. Do you think that this is a kind of a space race, in fact, get to the moon and stay there before China gets to the moon and colonizes it? I don't think there's any question that we're in a geopolitical race much like Apollo. And China is, uh, is, has a very strong commitment uh, to be uh, dominant in space. And the free world, led by the United States, is going to have to compete in that race once more. It's, you... uh, that's the primary uh, issue, I think, more than anything else. Now, go back all those years. Do you sometimes think about, do you often think about when you set foot on the moon, one of the very few human beings have done it? Oh, I think about it uh, all the time. I'm writing and speaking uh, in, in related matters. Uh, I also stay very active in the scientific side of things. And as the last person to step on the moon, uh, you know, I get mm. requests for interviews, not unlike this one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we will actually go back to the moon and, and stay there? Do you think we really will do that? Well, the president and the vice president certainly have proposed that we do that. The directives are out there. Uh, I th the big question in my mind is whether NASA has fully committed to do that, to implement the yeah. president's directive. And we'll just have to wait and see how that works out. Harrison Schmidt, it's great to have you on the show today, especially this particular day. Come back and see us soon, will you please? Well, it was a great day. I was in mission control when this all happened uh, 49 years ago, and Neil was a great friend of mine, and it's just uh, wonderful that you're uh, acknowledging the day and celebrating it. We are indeed. Harrison Schmidt, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.